A Mandaean priest reads from their holy book. He's speaking Aramaic, a language more than 2,000 years old. Their home is Iraq. Their religion came before Christianity or Islam. But now they face persecution, rape and forced conversion at the hands of Islamic extremists who consider them heretics. Most have fled abroad. This is the funeral of a Mandaean police officer who was murdered. Fewer than a thousand live in Britain. The priest has to fly in from Sweden. Dr. Leila Al-Rumi has lived here for more than 30 years. We don't have a priest to perform baptism here. If somebody wants to get married can't be married in the UK. We don't have a place to meet. We don't have a temple to worship in. We're not near water to perform uh, our religious rituals. This wedding in Syria shows why they can't marry in the UK. Running water is at the heart of the faith, to cleanse and purify. Because of the persecution they face in Iraq, the Mandaean community is now scattered across the world. Here in London, they do at least feel safe, but they have nowhere to worship, nowhere to practice their ancient customs. Many fear their religion may simply die out. Three generations of Mandaeans with a passion to preserve their culture. I'm so proud to know where I come, you know, my, my ancestors, where they come from and originates going back four or five thousand years ago. All what we need, a place to practice our religion and, and mainly to educate our kids. <laughs> Marwa is 22. She's training to be a lawyer. For her, the UK must help Mandaeans here and refugees elsewhere. I think trying to get the Mandaeans that are currently in Syria and Jordan waiting for help, to get them here to the UK and to make sure that our community does not disappear because these people are you know, just sitting there waiting for help and they're not getting it. And the UK does have an obligation because they did go into Iraq. <laughs> Iraq is home, but there's no prospect of return, so they must pray their faith will survive in foreign lands. Angus Crawford, BBC News, London.